What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Hybrid News Now where we'll get you caught up on all the biggest news from around the entertainment world. In today's top stories, Marvel president Kevin Feige says there are no plans for a Marvel Netflix and film crossover, Avengers 4's production start date revealed, and we finally learned Transformers The Last Night's official running time. But in that top story, you heard that right Marvel fans, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing the Netflix heroes on the big screen anytime soon. In an interview with French outlet Allo Cine yesterday, Feige confirmed that there are currently no plans to bring the street-level heroes of the Defenders into the adventures of the Avengers or the Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe someday, no plans right now. Maybe someday, but we have a lot of characters in the MCU, and one of the things that is so special about those characters on the Netflix shows is their dynamic together. They're all combining to become the Defenders later this year and are doing their own thing. And this is, unsurprisingly, kind of a political answer from Kevin. He doesn't necessarily rule it out completely, but there's some subtext there. And that little bit of subtext is, if it's not gonna happen in Infinity War, facing off against one of the biggest threats the Marvel Universe has ever and will ever face in Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, when would it happen? And in my mind, that's kind of backed up by the way he phrases the end of that statement, too, when he's talking about them doing their own thing with the Defenders and how their dynamic is so special. Reading between the lines there, and I might be reading Getting too far into it, you guys let me know. It definitely seems like Feige is sort of implying that the characters fit better with one another than they would with anyone on the big screen. I don't know that I agree, and I know that a lot of you guys don't. I know you're going to be pissed or upset about what Feige's saying here. At the end of the day, I think Anthony Mackie said it best. These are two different companies. Even though they're both under the Marvel label, this is Marvel Studios and Marvel Television, two separate entities with their own ways of going about things. Let me know what you think about all that in the comment section down below, but moving on to our next story of the day, we now know when Avengers 4 is going to start filming, and it's a lot sooner than you think. This report comes to us from the fine folks over at Omega Underground, who have been absolutely killing it lately, nabbing these industry listings about when projects are beginning production. Drum roll, please. Reportedly, Avengers 4 is going to begin filming July 17th of this year. For those of you keeping score at home, that's three days after Avengers Infinity War wraps production. And you might be wondering, if you're gonna shoot them back to back, why not just film it as one big movie? And the answer is, kind of, sort of, technically, well, these are two separate productions. They have been ever since they decided that it wasn't going to be Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2, but just Avengers Infinity War and whatever the hell they name Avengers 4. And I don't know if that's for legal reasons, tax reasons, or just to give the actors a weekend off before they go right back to work that next Monday. So if you do know, fill me in in the comment section down below. On to our last story of the day, though, we finally note the official running time for Transformers The Last Night. You might remember we actually talked about this a few weeks back when rumors first started to surface that the movie was going to be a Godfather-esque three hours and two minutes long. Of course, Michael Bay shot back on Twitter saying that it was shorter than the last three Transformers movies by a lot to use his words, which meant it would have to be under two and a half hours. Well, he wasn't lying, but he wasn't exactly telling the truth either. The movie's not three hours long, don't worry about that. But is it way shorter than two and a half hours? <laughs> no. The Last night clocks in at a modest two hours and 29 minutes. It kind of makes me wonder if that one minute felt like a really long time because Michael Bay lives his life in slow motion, which would probably make all the explosions in his movies look a lot cooler. Regardless, you can rest easy, the movie is not Lord of the Rings long. That's gonna do it for me here though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.